What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Genesis Chain, the auto rifle which drops from Wrath of the Machine Raid at the final boss. So the innovation on perk sets continues with this weapon and it's pretty interesting, so let's take a quick look. All of the raid primaries have the bonus Whirlwind's Curse, which grants bonus damage to Fallen and more character agility, which is pretty awesome. In the sides, we have a Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Field Choke. Up next is Focus Fire. When zoomed, this weapon fires slower, but causes additional damage. In the middle column, we have Speed Reload, High Caliber Rounds, and Hammer Forged. And the final bonus is a new one called Focused Firefly. So when Focused Fire is active, precision kills cause the target to explode. This is a super cool set of perks, and have Having Firefly on an auto rifle is also really interesting. Visually, we can see that this is a Suros model AR, and again, we have the Siva effect on the weapon, which is pretty cool. Like the other raid weapons, this also has a new Siva scope. Stats wise, this is a 77 rate of fire and 28 impact auto rifle, so it's in the Suros regime archetype of weapons. All around, the stats are pretty good. The range is decent, especially with Hammer Forged, and having bonus agility is going to help out with some of those strafe movements while firing the weapon. The stability isn't great on this weapon though, which means that the solid range doesn't always shine through since accuracy isn't fantastic at more of a distance. This is a lower rate of fire AR, which across the board isn't the strongest type for PvP or PvE, but its dual set of focus fire perks certainly make up for some of that. So if you're fighting crowds of adds, this could be a super useful perk. Having Firefly on an auto rifle also makes for a different experience for sure. It's interesting because as far as auto rifles go, they have fairly limited crowd control effects which come alongside them. So in some respects, this weapon can have a similar role to the Zalo Supercell. Using Siege of the Warmind right here just as an example, you can see that these thralls are going down really rapidly when the Firefly bonus procs. When you're unable to take advantage of these perks though, you are just left with a low rate of fire AR. And we know the limitations of this type of weapon, so it's going to be worth equipping this weapon more in situations where you know you can utilize the bonuses. The Arc Priest boss fight in the Wrath of the Machine raid is going to be a pretty good place for this weapon since the adds tend to spawn and come out in groups, plus bonus fallen damage is going to help out. As far as PvP goes, similar to the other raid weapons that I've looked at, they tend to lean towards PvE use, which certainly makes sense since they are raid weapons, but this is still an effective weapon in PvP. Again, the archetype isn't very strong for PvP right now, but having high caliber rounds is pretty nice. In medium range engagements, it takes people down fairly fast, and you also have the bonus agility, and occasionally Firefly procking might get you a kill. I don't rate it super highly for PvP, but I think it's a very good PvE weapon, and it's super cool to see Firefly on an auto rifle too. So there you go guys, just a brief look at the Genesis Chain Auto Rifle from Wrath of the Machine Raid. Let me know down below what you think of this weapon, if you manage to try it out or pick it up. Any other cool loots that you've got from the raid as well would be interesting to hear about. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, a like is always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe for a hell of a lot more Rise of Iron content. But for now, you guys have an awesome day.